Juglans Scenaria, Wikipedia article audio. Juglans Scenaria, commonly known as butternut or white walnut, is a species of walnut native to the eastern United States and southeast Canada. The distribution range of J. Scenaria extends east to New Brunswick, and from southern Quebec west to Minnesota, south to northern Alabama and southwest to northern Arkansas. It is absent from most of the southern United States. The species also proliferates at middle elevations in the Columbia River Basin, Pacific Northwest, as an off-site species. Trees with 7 feet or 2.1 m class range diameter at breast height were noted in the Amnaha River drainage as late as January 26, 2015. Distribution Description J. Cineria is a deciduous tree growing to 20 m tall, rarely 40 m. Butternut is a slow-growing species, and rarely lives longer than 75 years. It has a 40-80 cm stem diameter, with light gray bark. The leaves are alternate and pinnate, 40-70 cm long, with 11-17 leaflets, each leaflet 5-10 cm long and 3-5 cm broad. Leaves have a terminal leaflet at the end of the leaf stalk and have an odd number of leaflets. The whole leaf is downy pubescent, and is somewhat brighter, yellow or green than many other tree leaves. Butternut flowers from April to June, depending upon location, about the same time as the new leaves appear. The species is monoecious. Male flowers are inconspicuous, yellow-green slender catkins that develop from auxiliary buds and female flowers are short terminal spikes on current year's shoots. Each female flower has a light pink stigma. Flowers of both sexes do not usually mature simultaneously on any individual tree. The fruit is a lemon-shaped nut. Produced in bunches of two to six together, the nut is oblong ovoid, 3-6 cm long and 2-4 cm broad, surrounded by a green husk before maturity in mid-autumn. Butternut grows best on stream banks and on well-drained soils. It is seldom found on dry, compact, or infertile soils. It grows better than black walnut, however, on dry, rocky soils, especially those of limestone origin. Flowering and Fruiting Butternut is found most frequently in coves, on stream benches and terraces, on slopes, in the talus of rock ledges, and on other sites with good drainage. It is found up to an elevation of 1,500 meters in the Virginia's much higher altitudes than black walnut. Butternut is found with many other tree species and several hardwood types in the mixed mesophytic forest. It is an associated species in the following four northern and central forest cover types, sugar maple basswood, yellow poplar white oak northern red oak, beech sugar maple, and river birch sycamore. Commonly associated trees include basswood, black cherry, beech, black walnut, elm, hemlock, hickory, oak, red maple, sugar maple, yellow poplar, white ash, and yellow birch. In the northeast part of its range, it is often found with sweet birch and in the northern part of its range it is occasionally found with white pine. Forest stands seldom contain more than an occasional butternut tree, although in local areas, it may be abundant. In the past, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Indiana, and Tennessee have been the leading producers of butternut timber. Ecology Although young trees may withstand competition from the side, butternut does not survive under shade from above. It must be in the overstory to thrive. Therefore, it is classed as intolerant of shade and competition. 
The most serious disease of J. cinerea is butternut decline or butternut canker. In the past, the causal organism of this disease was thought to be a fungus, Melanconis juglandis. Now this fungus has been associated with secondary infections and the primary causal organism of the disease has been identified as another species of fungus, Cirococcus clavigignanti juglandae serum. The fungus is spread by wide-ranging vectors, so isolation of a tree offers no protection. Symptoms of the disease include dying branches and stems. Initially, cankers develop on branches in the lower crown. Spores developing on these dying branches are spread by rainwater to tree stems. Stem cankers develop one to three years after branches die. Tree tops killed by stem girdling cankers do not res peer out. Diseased trees usually die within several years. Completely freestanding trees seem better able to withstand the fungus than those growing in dense stands or forest. In some areas, 90% of the butternut trees have been killed. The disease is reported to have eliminated butternut from North and South Carolina. The disease is also reported to be spreading rapidly in Wisconsin. By contrast, black walnut seems to be resistant to the disease. Soil and Topography The hybrid between butternut and the Japanese walnut is commonly known as the buartnut and shows resistance to the butternut canker. Researchers are back-crossing butternut to buartnut, creating butter buarts which should have more butternut traits than buartnuts. They are selecting for resistance to the butternut canker. Associated forest cover Bunch disease also attacks butternut. Currently, the causal agent is thought to be a mycoplasma-like organism. Symptoms include a yellow witch's broom resulting from sprouting and growth of auxiliary buds that would normally remain dormant. Infected branches fail to become dormant in the fall and are killed by frost. Highly susceptible trees may eventually be killed. Butternut seems to be more susceptible to this disease than black walnut. Canopy competition The common grackle has been reported to destroy immature fruit and may be considered a butternut pest when populations are high. Butternut is very susceptible to fire damage, and although the species is generally wind firm, it is subject to frequent storm damage. Diseases The species is not listed as threatened federally in the U.S., but is listed as special concern in Kentucky, exploitably vulnerable in New York State, and threatened in Tennessee. The Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada placed the butternut on the endangered species list in Canada in 2005. Butternut wood is light in weight and takes Polish well, and is highly rot resistant, but is much softer than black walnut wood. Oiled, the grain of the wood usually shows much light. It is often used to make furniture and is a favorite of wood carvers. Butternut bark and nut rinds were once often used to dye cloth to colors between light yellow and dark brown. To produce the darker colors, the bark is boiled to concentrate the color. This appears to never have been used as a commercial dye, but rather was used to color homespun cloth. In the mid-19th century, Inhabitants of areas such as southern Illinois and southern Indiana many of whom had moved there from the southern United States were known as butternuts from the butternut dyed homespun cloth that some of them wore. Later, during the American Civil War, the term butternut was sometimes applied to Confederate soldiers. Some Confederate uniforms apparently faded from gray to a tan or light brown. It is also possible that butternut was used to color the cloth worn by a small number of Confederate soldiers. 
the resemblance of these uniforms to butternut dyed clothing, and the association of butternut dye with homemade clothing, resulted in this derisive nickname. Butternut Canker Butternut bark has mild cathartic properties and was once used medicinally in place of jalap, a more expensive cathartic which was imported from Mexico. Hybrid Resistance During the American Revolution, a butternut extract made from the inner bark of the tree was used in an attempt to prevent smallpox, and to treat dysentery and other stomach and intestinal discomfort. Crushed fruits can be used to poison fish, though the practice is illegal in most jurisdictions. Bruised fruit husks of the closely related black walnut can be used to stun fish. Other Pests Conservation Famous Specimens Uses Lumber Fabric Dye Medicinal Fishing